Hello everyone, today we're gonna be unboxing, set up and test my first Bamboo Lab 3D printer, the A1 Mini with AMS Lite Combo. First inside the box it comes with a bamboo textured PEI plate and at the back you have your uh, quick start guide and here's your accessory box. It comes with one extra bamboo scraper blade, one spool holder base, one lubricant oil, one cable organizer, one purge wiper screws, it comes with scraper screws, spool holder screws, MS stand screws, one extra heat bed nozzle wiper, one small allen key H1.5, one medium size allen key H2, and one unclogging pin tool. So for the mystery box, I got the marble run and for what I know, this is only for early buyer of A1 mini 3D printer. Here is your purge wiper or we can call it a poop wiper. Bamboo Lab also included a filament swatches with color codes label. Here's your 4 AMS light rotary spool holder and they are labeled with greens and yellows. Now let's go ahead and uh, check out the uh, AMS light. Here is the AMS light body with 4 spool holder color labeled with green and yellow in both sides. Here's your uh, AMS light stand. Here's your spool holder when you're not using the AMS that will be attached to the main printer. Bamboo Lab also included a sample PLA filament. Here is your 5 PTFE tube for your filament, 2 700mm, 2 580mm, and 1 short 520mm. Let's go ahead and dig into the main printer. So here is the main A1 mini 3D printer with a physical dimension. 347 by 315 by 365 millimeter. So let's start setting this up by cutting all the zip tie that holds the extruder. Let's make sure that all foam padding has been removed. Remove all the uh, sticker signs on the X axis. Let's unlock the Z axis limiter by removing the four screws. Next, let's tighten three screws underneath the heat bed, two in the front and one at the back. Next, let's slide in the purge wiper at the end of the X axis and use the screw labeled for purge wiper to screw it in place. Next, let's install the spool holder base plate with two M3 by eight screws from accessory box. Once installed, slide in the spool holder and make sure to match the orientation. Next, let's install the AMS light body on the stand and use four PT3 by six screws from accessory box. Next, let's slide the four rotary spool holder all the way in and match the colors to avoid damaging any parts. Next, let's insert 700 millimeter PTFE tubes into ports three and four. Next, let's insert the 580 millimeter PTFE tube into ports one and two. Next, let's insert all four tubes into the tool head filament hub. Next, let's attach all the PTFE tubes and block cable to the small circular cable organizer. The block cable will attach to the smallest hole. Now let's plug in the AMS light or pin connector into the port on the right of the A1 Mini. You can use either one of those ports. Now let's turn on the A1 Mini for the first time. And let's see if I got the working version of A1 Mini. After turning it on, this printer will play a MIDI sound that sounds like a video game. So first thing it will ask you after you press start is your preferred language. Select your language. Then select your region. Next, 
set up your Wi-Fi network. Press select Wi-Fi to select available network. Let's select our Wi-Fi network. Then input your Wi-Fi password. Press connect when done. Next, just tap anywhere in the screen for printer binding. To bind your account, you need to install the Bamboo Handy app to your Android or iPhone. Just go to Apple App Store or go to Android Play Store and type Bamboo Handy. After you install the app, register and log in to your Bamboo account. Once you're logged in, go to Devices and tap the plus icon on the top right corner and type the scan icon. After scanning the QR code, next accept the terms and conditions by tapping checkbox and then tap the confirm to bind button. Next, make sure four screws has been removed to unlock Z axis and press confirm. After adding the printer, you should see your printer from this list. Go ahead and tap it to see your printer dashboard. For calibrating the printer, just tap the start button and it will calibrate the vibration compensation for five minutes and motor noise cancellation for seven minutes. Let's go ahead and insert the micro SD card that came with the printer. For loading the filament, just push the spool all the way onto the spool retractor. To load filament to your AMS light, go to filament, tap the AMS on the top, select your filament slot number and tap load button. Then on your AMS light, cut the filament tip to 45 degrees. Press the yellow release button and insert it from the bottom. Make sure to bend the filament straight for easy insertion all the way in until AMS light detects the filament and starts rolling in. Mm. Okay. Now let's test the printer by printing one of the pre-sliced benchy from the micro SD card. I want to test the three color benchy, so let's select this one. On this first print, I want to enable the bed leveling, dynamic calibration, time lapse, and use AMS. Let's tap next for filament selection. This benchy uses three colors, but uh, I only have two filament loaded, so I have to set the second color manually. After mapping the AMS, just tap print and the printer will take care of the rest.
So A1 has finally finished printing the multicolor Benchy and as you just heard it did play a cool video game sound alike after finishing the print. Beside the Benchy there's a little tiny purge block used to clean the nozzle hat and previous color. Looking at the print result there's a little bit of string that is barely noticeable. The layers are smooth throughout most of the print. The color transition looks good and texture on the top roof printed well. There's no ringing and no issues on overhangs. On my second print, I printed a spool adapter and this time I used a sport mode for faster print. The print overall looks good but I noticed some ringing on the thread from the inside and outside. For my third print test, I printed a space saver for my AMS light. And this took 9 hours and it came out pretty good. Second plate also came out looking great without any issues. One thing I didn't mention is that the printer has a built in camera that you can use to monitor your print and record time lapses for your print. As mentioned in the specification, this camera has a low frame rate with 1080p resolution, so don't expect a high quality result from it. I think this printer has a lot of features that I haven't covered yet. I haven't even used the Bamboo Lab Slicer because of the really handy app called Bamboo Handy. You can just print the pre-sliced models from this app without even having to slice it in your computer. So far, no print has failed. There's some minor issues with some ringing on my prints, but these are little things. Comparing to my Creality V3 SE, the build volume is a little bit smaller. For auto leveling reliability, I would go for A1 Mini. This printer also produces less noise compared to the Creality V3 SE. One thing to keep in mind is that this combo takes a lot of space because of the AMS light. If you print the AMS saver from Maker World, you can stack the A1 Mini and your AMS light together like this one in the picture. I've been saving money for the P1S but since they announced a cheaper version that can print multicolor, I pulled the trigger and bought this printer. So far I'm happy with this purchase. This is my third 3D printer but this is my first Bamboo Lab 3D printer. So if you're a beginner, this is a good printer to start with. If you don't like spending time with the slicer software, you can use their Bamboo Handy app to print directly with A1 Mini. I found it really convenient for 3D printing. So that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video.